look out for me and want me to speak to the students. So today I'm going to give you all a presentation about how I got started into cybersecurity and how I was able to win the 2020 IC Square Rising Star Award. So my presentation is called The Blueprint to Excelling into Cybersecurity. And the discussion points today, my bio, defining cybersecurity, my journey into cybersecurity, sharing my experience, award nomination, and lessons learned. As I mentioned before, my name is Katia Dean. I'm currently a systems engineer, but when I'm not working my nine to five, I also have my own business that's called KTS SciLife, where I help up and coming cybersecurity professionals. It could be students, people that's transitioning into cyber or people that's already in cybersecurity with their career development and also revamping their resumes so they could be able to excel and get the job that they deserve. I also authored my first ebook that's called The Struggle is Real, a blueprint to excelling into the cybersecurity discipline that I will discuss a little bit more in this presentation. In August, I was really excited this year that I won my first award from ISC Square, the 2020 Global Rising Star for KTS Sidelight because of all of the hard work that I contribute to the cybersecurity community. And as always, I like to start with what is cybersecurity? And in the media today, we would get a lot of varied definitions. A lot of people still associate cybersecurity with hacking and a lot of technical work. However, that is really only one side of cybersecurity. There are also not technical side of cybersecurity as well. For instance, a project manager is another area of cybersecurity that you could get into. However, I like this Definition from Dr. Masur Hasib, and his definition for cybersecurity is cybersecurity is the mission focused and risk optimized governance of information, which maximizes confidentiality, integrity, and availability using a balanced mix of people, policy, and te technology while improving over time. And the reason why I like this definition is because when I'm helping people define their career path, I'm actually making sure that they realize that they actually have the transferable skills to get into this field and that you could get in technical or not technical route, but everybody, we just all need cybersecurity from all different areas. So how did I actually get started into cybersecurity? Well, my undergrad degree is in electronic yeah. engineering, but I actually got started from volunteering at a STEM event from young girls, and it was during appreciation night where they was going over the different workshops, and they had a workshop about cybersecurity. And I never heard about cybersecurity. I said, what is that? But in the workshop, sounded interesting. So next year, I had actually volunteered for the STEM okay. event, and I found that it was very, it was very exciting. And even though it had some programming in it, which I really don't care too much for, I decided to conduct more research. And a friend of mine had actually mentioned the University of Maryland University College, and I attended the webinar about the cybersecurity program, and I realized that, oh, it's actually a non-technical side of cybersecurity. And I said, I do have the skills to get into this field. So let me pursue my master's. So I actually got to cyber from volunteering. Now, what led me to everything was sharing my experience. And sharing my experience, I wrote my first ebook. So in my ebook, I discussed. Even though I had two degrees, I have an electronic engineering degree and I also have a master's in cybersecurity technology and I have six years of experience, you would think that it would be easy for me to find a job. However, I actually have found myself laid off and I was unemployed for nine months. And during those nine months, I had to navigate 
the cybersecurity workforce again. And I learned along the way that as it's a, um, everybody you add, there's a lot of topics out there, but how there's a skills gap shortage. However, I would like to disagree with that because I noticed when I was going on my interviews and going through the whole interviewing process that the recruiters, some, some of the recruiters, they really didn't know the job that they were recruiting for. And sometimes the hiring managers also didn't know what they were looking for. And as we know, most of these job requirements have ridiculous requirements and some of them are, are looking for a unicorn. That's not really ideal. And also in my book, I shared other cybersecurity professional stories to let everyone know that you don't have to be te technical. You can, have, you can be a teacher, you come from the military, you have self-taught certifications. There is no linear path to get into cyber. There are numerous ways to get into. You just have to find your own unique path. And once you find your path, give back, share your experience, share your failures, the positive vibes, everything. So sharing my experience and just being humble actually got to where I am today. And the reason why I actually won the award this year was thanks to Dr. C. He actually nominated me for this award this year. And they actually chose me this year because of all the things that I had contributed with writing my ebook, sharing my stories on LinkedIn, basically being the, my personal brand, my title is Voice of Cyber Pros. And I earned that hashtag because I always spoke up for everybody who really didn't have a voice. A lot of people, sometimes uh, if you vent, a lot of people just vent online, but they don't have a solution. Most of the time I will vent, but I will have a solution behind what I'm talking about. So ISC Square actually recognized all my hard work and I got notified in August that I got this award and I, I was so excited. I didn't even know what to do with myself. And even though this year due to the virus, it was not, I couldn't go in person, but I was excited that I was still able to attend virtually. So I was very excited for that. And the award is really nice in person and it's heavy. So I'm very excited that I was able to win that award and show everybody that with hard work and dedication that you could also win an award one day. And what did I learn during this whole time? I learned that I had to take risk. So for me, I'm originally from Cleveland and I had noticed that even though I had got my undergrad degree in engineering, the jobs was not in Cleveland. So I took it upon myself and I had ended up relocating to Maryland, uh, Southern Maryland, small town. I moved there with my dad where I just knew him and, and I'm a city girl. I really didn't care too much for the country, but I said, hey, if I wanna get out there, I'm gonna have to take some risks. Took some risks, I moved to Maryland. While I was in Maryland, I networked with different people. I was able to, as I mentioned before, I volunteer at the STEM program, grow on my network. Then I eventually moved to Northern Virginia because I like Virginia better than Maryland. And along the way, as I mentioned in my book, I actually failed. Well, I shouldn't say I failed. I got redirected, sorry. I got redirected to finding myself during my unemployment phase. So I found myself, I understood that I could help people. Even though I was going through my own storm, I was still helping people and motivating them along the way because that actually kept me sane, which actually led me to inspire more people. So even when people are down, I'm that person that looks for the positive in a situation because even though things are hard, it's uncertain, you don't know what the future holds, you still can find a positive outlook and see, okay, how can I help somebody else? How can I share my story? Because you're not going through this alone. Somebody else could be going through the same thing. And if you wanna get in contact with me, I have a YouTube channel where I share all my experience, career development, resume workshops. I have a Twitter, Instagram, 
And if you need any help with interviewing processes, my interviews, resume services, you can go to my website, ktsilife.tech. And now I'm going to leave it so you all can have, answer any questions that you might have, you can ask away. Katia, thank you for